Hello and welcome to one of Excitec's AutoCAD 2018 New Features videos. My name is Terry Dean and I'm one of the application specialists here at Excitec. This video focuses upon some of the enhancements introduced to the user interface. The first of these can be discovered with any dialog box listing files. For example, open, save as, attach and we're inserting a W block. I'm now in the open dialog box and you'll see I'm going to sort the date modified. I'll open that file and if I were to revisit that dialog box you can see it's remembered the order in which I, I sorted. The next new enhancement again involves dialog boxes. In fact it involves one. To enable you to view and access more information in the last release the ability to stretch and resize was added to a lot more of these. The drafting settings dialog box has now had this ability introduced. The third new feature involves a system variable monitor. This was introduced in AutoCAD 2016. If AutoCAD detects a system variable change, the system variable monitor icon appears to the right of the status bar. I'll now demonstrate that. I'm going to change the mirror text system variable to 1. And in the bottom right corner down here, the system variable monitor icon has now enabled itself. If I now right click upon that, I can very quickly reset the system variables from here. Previously, I'd have had to have entered this dialog box to reset and also if I wanted to enable display notification, I would have to have done that via the dialog box. But you can see that can also be done here too. The fourth new feature incorporates the quick access toolbar. Something using an alternative technique, which could have been achieved in early releases, has now been included in the default drop-down list of alternative or additional tools. When ribbons were first introduced to AutoCAD, Knowing what layer was current or to change the current layer could only be achieved whilst within the home tab. Well, it has now been included within the quick access toolbar drop down list. And here it is. If I enable layer here, we can now see what the current layer is. The next new feature allows for the rubber band vector color to be made more visible when maybe the background color makes this difficult to see. So what is the rubber band vector? Well, it's the dashed line that appears when you're maneuvering objects. And you can see on a white background, the yellow rubber band vector can be quite tricky to see. So within the options dialog box, within the display tab and within the colors button here, and now see it's now included on the list of in interface elements. So here we have rubber band line. So I click on that and change it to maybe to a much darker color. The next time I maneuver something, that rubber band vector should be a lot more visible. Well, that concludes this AutoCAD 2018 new features video focus your enhancements to the user interface. I hope you found it useful. Please check out our other videos. Thank you for watching. 